points we, we uh, obtained on this floor, obviously it's going to give much, much better results. Mm -hmm. Could you comment on how it might be uh, self-healing? If, 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 say, uh, one of the MAC addresses... You know, Could you speak up a bit? Oh, sorry. Um, uh, I'm just wondering if, if this is pretty robust in terms of self-healing, if one of the access points goes down? Uh, well, if the access point goes down, then it means that it's going to affect all the vectors, all the scans that we did that actually found the, the access point. So, uh, in this case, there's the, the privilege is not going to really change because we observed several previous scans and they all lose that access point. So, uh, uh, when we try to estimate, basically, the, 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 the position is still going to be estimated using the, the same, same, same data with, with, uh, without that access point present, which means uh, the relationship How do you between know those the access point is not present. We just, w when we scan, it's not there. And when we try to uh, build our regression, what happens is uh, the point is not considered. I guess, is not considered, yes. I guess the question goes, uh, it, it will definitely affect it. So you will, have, you will get a more uh, variance. Yeah, you will get more variance. Um, the difference is we can actually, we can actually, and that's, that's an idea that we haven't implemented. We have, uh, we can weigh the, the access points according to how many times they have seen, they have yeah. been seen before, yeah. right? So if, if the access point is constantly being seen, then it, it takes more importance in the algorithm. And over time, an access point that doesn't show up will start to will start to be pushed out of the database. But the, the other great thing about this is that we, we don't have to maintain a list of access points, and we never have to prune the database. That um, yeah. the more data we add, the more accurate it gets, and we never have to take anything out. Yeah. So what you said, Jorge, was that I, I could catch that you, you have a method of uh, of eliminating an access point. We have an idea, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it's not implemented yet in this, in this uh, version. Have you worked out the possibility or the functionality of feedback to reuse so that a uh, user using the system knowing the accuracy of the guess once they return it can feed that data back to update the database? Yes, exactly. Th this would actually uh, provide us with uh, once we have a base data set for the uh, scans that we do need to and try to estimate our position, uh, if, it, if, if this is implemented, if it has been implemented, then this actually could help us populate even more mm -hmm. the database, and uh, those points could be actually used. If, they're, uh, if, if the return values are really good, they could be actually used as a, uh, to build a further solution. If you invested in a few permanent points, yes, would yes. that help? Yeah. yeah. The, uh, Let's see. Yeah, if the place doesn't have a, uh, access points at all, if the building doesn't have them, we could use a, you know, some sort of RFID tagging, perhaps. Uh, uh, maybe um, we we'll have to figure out the differences yeah, between between that technology and and this one. But yeah, like the principle is, you know, as long as you can have. Uh, some kind of strength signal information and a, new, a unique ID. Yeah. Those two pieces of information will, will, you know, when applied, when this algorithm or this process is applied to them, will will give you the output you want. Uh, I'm okay. interested in. Sorry, I'm interested in why um, you're not taking into account walls because if if I'm across a wide open space. That you know, I, I can see a, a MAC address from a long way. If there's a concrete wall and yep. the scan was done inside of that wall, that's only a meter, but it's a huge well, difference. The way, the way that, especially concrete, actually, 18 inches of concrete will attenuate a signal from, let's say, let's count it in percentages, 100 percent down to 2 percent. Huh. Just a simple wall. Right. Right. So it's so going it's to affect the ranking. Of so, so if, if you find rooms, mm. and I know what. I don't know what's in this room, I know I'm in this room. But I guess when you do the scan, you say, you must locate yourself, right? Actually, in absolute terms, to do the scan. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then if I'm on that room. It's, it's a bit different, but you can see, like, yesterday, Yura did, he did scans over, or sorry, Friday, in the elevator, 
area of Roberts, which is a giant, I mean, it's four stories up and down with wireless access points everywhere. And yet we were still somehow managed, somehow managed to, to see through this wall, uh, through this, this wall. I mean, it, it's, we're, we're in this room, um, so we've got this wooden door here, which is actually more porous for Wi-Fi, so that's skewing things a little bit. But for the most part, um, we don't really have to take walls into account to, to give floor information. So the way the way well, right to give floor information, sure, but I'm, I'm talking about what the floor. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the way you can think about it is you, you, or the way I like to explain it is you take a picture, right? You take a picture anywhere you are, and and you know you get your your print or whatever, and then someone else takes a picture. Uh, that picture has an, an associated perspective and specific way in which you took it and you were facing in a specific way, that kind of thing. Um, someone else comes in, takes up another picture that has some shared information from the picture you took. So you can actually calculate the difference between the two. And then if you have a, a location associated to each, those two, to, to each one of those pictures that you took, uh, you can actually tell you know where 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 you are uh, in distance in a real space. Now, the the advantage of this is that you don't actually have to. It doesn't matter what the picture has. Right? What matters is that you can tell the difference between the two. And the advantage of that is that uh, I mean we, we still have to do more testing, but it tends to be more robust because uh, it, it considers every single effect of every single element that is around you. So. Um, you know, if there's a wall, the, the, the wall will, will will show up in the picture, right? Um, in, in, a, in, a, in a visual picture, well, it will show up as a wall, but in, in this kind of picture, it will show up as an attenuated signal, right? which will look different than if you're outside the room. So as long as as long as you can tell the difference, you will know that it, that you're in a different place. Jorge, does does intensity mean distance? No, and that's why that's why um, that's why it works. Uh, that's that's what gets me. Uh, that's where I I, you know, I I can't take it. Right there. Yeah. No. Is there any way to infer that there's a wall based on the signal strength? Like, let's say you don't have a map mm -hmm. and you have a bunch of access points. Is there way to at least infer there's some walls? What are they? Probably not so much. Um, just us in this room. Actually, I was kind of concerned because humans being yeah. 70 to 90 percent water um, that happens to be like 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi is the same frequency that water water molecule resonates at so even relative humidity will affect Wi-Fi signals more than a wall may so it's really hard to infer what environmental factor might be changing the signal um, and I guess the key there is that all those influences or all those uh, noise sources will affect every single access point right uh, which means uh, all we have to do is to find a robust measure of which one is the strongest and which one is the weakest, which is what, what we have done. We don't actually use, well, in, in one of the things, we don't actually use the specific strength, strength value. We just ask, you know, who is.